Hi, this is Prima, and we are here with an intro 101 uh, video to introduce you to our waxes. Now, these waxes are part of the Finnevere Mixed Media line, um, and we're going to pretend you've never seen these before and give you the whole um, write-up on Finnevere waxes and what colors are available and how they work and the properties, the best ways to apply, etc. So, Finnevere creates the mixed media line under the Prima umbrella of designers, and you'll find that the Art Alchemy Metalique waxes are one of the products that are absolutely amazing to work with. So, these are metallic beeswax based paste. They're very hard, um, no, they're not runny, they're not soft, they're, they're on the harder end, like that, and they can be applied with a brush or a finger or a stencil brush, anything like that. Now, they come in different colors, the Metalique line is going to come with eight colors, as you can see here. Old silver, brushed iron, rose gold, vintage gold, white gold, aged brass, rich copper, and bronze age. Now there are other waxes. Um, Finnevere has an uh, antique brilliance line, an opal magic line, a matte wax line, as well as uh, trendy uh, fashion colors. Um, so there's a variety of waxes. So subscribe to the Prima Marketing Inc. YouTube channel so that you um, get notified when these videos get uploaded and hopefully we'll be able to do an intro video for each line of the waxes. All right, so now that you know a little bit about these, let's go ahead and start swatching them. So I created a little um, diagram here and what I'm going to do is pull one out at a time and we're going to swatch it on paper, uh, white paper, black paper, and then I'll show you on watercolor paper I've done some ahead. So this is what the packaging looks like. You can see it's Finnevere Art Alchemy and the Metalique line is going to give you a metal finish. So it's metal colors. Um, and it, there is a lot in this little um, tin and we're going to, let's start playing with it. The best that way to start applying is to use a stencil brush. Now I, there are a variety of sizes from small, medium, and large. These are my favorites to use. They are also in the Finnevere line. Or you can use your finger. It just depends on what you're applying it on. So let's go ahead and pull out the old silver. I've already pre-opened mine. You can see that one's pretty full. Now I've had these waxes, this is, might be my second tin, but since they've been released, they do stay um, soft enough to apply, but they're also created so when they are exposed to air, they start to dry and seal. So you do not have to seal these waxes, they will seal themselves. Let me just show you a sample real quick. So this is a metal lid that I applied waxes over a stencil, a stick and style stencil. It does not rub off. And I also applied a blue wax on the glass. Again, this is my water jar. I travel with it. So I've used it quite a bit. Once it's sealed, it is permanent. So that poses a little bit of a problem when you leave your wax open a lot. It can start to harden. So just make sure you seal that up. And if you have the foam on the inside of the lid, don't throw that. That actually will help you keep the seal tighter. All right? But again, like any product, it is created to dry and seal itself. So if it's a couple years old and you open it up, it might be dry. We try to keep it... Um, you know, walk that fine line between making it easy to use and uh, giving you a long life with the products. All right, so I'm gonna just take a little bit with the smaller stencil brush. This is old silver. And I like to just get a little bit off on my brush and then I go into my lid and swirl it around. That just helps the product disperse on the brush easier and gives me um, a more even finish. So 
what can you put the waxes on? Well, you can see I'm just putting it on, this is just plain old printer paper. There is going to be a sheen, a slight sheen on this. And, um, but you can also use metal wax. I'm sorry. The wax can be applied on multiple surfaces, um, glass, metal, which I already showed you and paper, of course, but try wood. It can be used on resin, chipboard, plastic, uh, almost any surface you can think of. Um, test it first and see how it looks. Okay. So here we have it on there. I just want to show you, I also applied it on watercolor paper just to show you, it's going to give just a little bit of a different finish on everything you put it on. So I think the watercolor paper looks a bit darker compared to the printer paper, which is, I think very accurate for what it looks like when you apply it like on metal, um, furniture, hardware. These are really popular in the DIY furniture line. Um, and our redesign ambassadors love these. So let me try it on just some black paper and look at that. Isn't that beautiful. So I would say the metal leak, if you're looking at waxes and say, which one should I buy first? The metal leak is what you should buy first. Honestly, it, it gives you the nicest variety for adding finish, um, touches to say your molded pieces. Um, that's one of my favorite things to use them on. Now I am cleaning my brush out. Let me just show you real quickly. I just use paper towel and I swirl it around until I get most of that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush for the next one because it's a similar color family. So let's, we're going to be jostling our papers around just a little bit. So brushed iron is next. I would just say this is a bit darker. It's a darker silver. You can see them next to each other. One is a lighter true silver and this is more of a charcoal silver. Or as they say, brushed iron. Let me get the right lid. Again, I'm, I just like to swirl this brush around. Make sure it's nice and even. Give you a pretty look of that right there. You, now you can see the two silvers kind of side by side. This, and then let's go ahead and add it to um, black while we're at it. Again, that gives you a really nice look um, of the difference between the two of them. Always clean your brush out. These are created to harden after they've been exposed to air. So you don't want to leave them on your brushes. Um, you don't have to be super, super uh, effective with cleaning. I have left a little bit on my brushes before and when I go to pick up more wax, I have another color mixed in, which is really cool if you like to create your own colors. So yeah, they can be blended together. All right, so those are those two colors. And then on watercolor paper, similar. All right, so we've done old silver and brushed iron. Let's get out the golds. There are three different golds, rose, vintage, and white. And they are very different. Let me just pop the tops off real quickly. There's that little foamy thing. I do keep it in, in mine as much as I can. Um, sometimes when I'm traveling and demoing, I lose one, but keep it in there. It just helps you seal it um, better. So rose, vintage, and white gold, they're very, very different. Let's go ahead and uh, swatch these. So we'll start with the rose gold. I'm going to grab just a little bit out of here. I love the rose gold. It is so pretty. And of all the metals, this is the only one with you know, really kind of a bit of a fashion color um, that it has a bit of the rose color in there. The rest are true. Well, it, you know, it is a true metal. It just, I love it because it's, it's such a cool color. Okay. Let's do the vintage gold. Oh, I didn't do it on black. I have to remember to swatch on black. 
Let's go ahead and do the rose gold on black. Now these black cards are just little ATC type cards in Finnevere's line. They're great for demoing and sampling on. So I love to pull those out um, to, to swatch things. All right, so the next brush, let's do vintage gold. Look how much I just need a tiny little bit. Swirl it around. Let's do it on black first this time and then maybe I won't forget. So you can definitely see this is a true gold. It does have a bit of a vintage essence to it. Their gold can be so diverse from brassy to shiny. This is a beautiful gold. It's really, really pretty. So let's look at that on different surfaces. All right, we're just gonna keep swatching. I'll try to clean my brush in between. Next up is the white gold. And my paper, when you're playing with mixed media, you know how your hands get and your paper gets? It's just gonna get messy. That's okay. We're just gonna have fun swatching. So I'm grabbing a new stencil brush. Just get a little bit on there. We might need a little bit more. And it looks like I had stuff on my brush. Again, that just happens. White gold is so pretty. I would say it is definitely very delicate. Look at that. I, this is one of my favorites too. I love, love, love this color. Look at that. So if you wanna see it next to vintage gold, there you go. You got the vintage gold and the white gold. Beautiful. And your rose gold, of course. So three different golds, all totally different. There was the white, the vintage, and the rose gold. And then let me grab our last three. All right, for our last three, we're gonna do aged brass, rich copper, and bronze age. So here we go with the colors. Let me just show you with the lids open so you get a better view. So we have aged brass, rich copper, and bronze age. So you can see they're very, very different. Let's start with aged brass. Just gonna pick up a little bit there. Swirl it around. Let's get that on here. Now I think these three are the most usable for hardware. Outside of the gold and silver, I these are amazing colors. And of course, your metal in what, whether it's in your house or wherever you are working on metal, glass, etc., you can match to what you have in your house and match the metal work or your finishings with these metal waxes. So one little tin is gonna go a long way and give you so many options no matter what you're working on. Like I said, you can put it on metal, glass, you can do it resin. So if you're molding pieces with our molds, which we have in the Finnevere line, the memory hardware line, our redesign line, and some of our paper lines, you pop those out and no matter what you make them with, you paint them and then touch the accents, the details with the, the um, waxes and they're just gonna be amazing brilliant so these little waxes the pots last quite a long time need one more brush all right bronze is another personal favorite to me did I keep saying that with all the colors I do love it it's just very very beautiful oops 
Here we go, let's try it on black. Look at that. All right, so we just did bronze, rich copper, aged brass. We did it on white. And on the black. So let me just set this down. I know you can't see the whole thing. My camera, I put it quite zoomed in so that we could get a nice close-up of all the colors. So these are the, the eight colors that are available for Metalique waxes. And I can show you real quickly. They were old silver, brushed iron, and rose gold. Let's back that up just a little bit. Then we had vintage gold and white gold. Aged brass, rich copper, and bronze age. All right, so these are the Metalite waxes by Finnevere. You can find them at any retailer that sells Prima. There are eight different colors, so go ahead and grab them. And then stay tuned for more videos on our introduction to mixed media line. Thank you. As I said, you can definitely apply these with your finger or with your stencil brush. You can keep it in the palm of your hand if you want to rub off a little and keep it warm so that you can always go back in and grab it from the palm of your hand. It will be nice and warmed up for ease of spreading. Now when you're putting it on with your finger, you are just going to catch the details on the piece. With a brush, it's going to give you more coverage, so fuller coverage, but use your fingers for catching molded pieces. So this is simply a hot wax or a hot glue um, molded piece from one of our Prima molds, our redesigned molds. And um, I just added the white gold wax on top of it. And you can see others here. This one has aged brass, rich copper, and old silver. Again, these are all molded pieces from the Prima molds. They're painted with Sparks paints or black gesso. And then once that paint dries, you add your wax on. So they go from something that is you know, just cost pennies to a beautiful embellishment. And all of them are made possible just by using Finnevere's Metalique waxes.